Hey guys, Crown Kaga from Critical Effect. As always, I hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, I got a little more C5 content for you here. I'm going to be focusing on the core garrison in this video. The core garrison pays the best, is one of the fastest, and is honestly very well balanced when it comes to the four waves. So it's a great site to run, and whenever you have these, it's a little treat. Fit I'm flying is going to be in the description. All I ask if you do end up using this fit, please, for the love of God, send the creator, God's help desk, 50 million esque. You're going to make billions with this fit. Just give him a little love, you know. And with all that said, sit back, relax, and watch this video. It's going to be played back two to four times speed. Check the bottom right hand corner for the site time and the speed that it's going at. And hope you all are having a great day. Get two great days for me.
as we approach the drifter time, I cycle down my bastion, wait out my co uh, combat timer, and start killing that final little uh, drifter right there. Or sleeper, he's not a drifter, he's a sleeper. Go ahead and approach my mobile depot, and I'm going to swap out a little bit of my tank and application for some capacitor stability. The drifter newts for like 200 points, which is a lot. So you gotta increase your cap stability depending on your fit. Now everyone's marauder is gonna operate differently. Marauders are kind of tailored towards people and so and so. Uh, this marauder was built with Marauder 4 in mind, with uh, mid grade Asclaps in mind. So it was a very low level marauder. I have since then, I have well passed this marauder's capability and I should be looking to upgrade. But I just. Why fix something that isn't broken? I mean, something interesting that's, I'm not going to say rare, but uncommon that happens here is the drifter spawns. This big old friendly guy. And then he just pisses off right away. Instantly. Uh, it's not that rare, but it is rare. He's just going to go warp to a wormhole, and you got to go fight him there. You got to go fight your drifters. If you go and spawn another drifter, there's a chance they'll meet up and shit like that. They shouldn't meet up on the same site that you're on, but if you go and fight another drifter on another wormhole, they will talk to each other and they will meet up with one another and you'll have two drifters on you and you will die. So I go ahead here, chase down this drifter. He's on a frig hole, so I just warp 100 off because I can't jump a frig hole and I can't smart bomb on a frig hole, so I just warp 100 off. So I figure that's a safe distance when it comes to dealing with frigates that might come through. Aside from that, do note I have full hole control here and I have eyes on the other side of this frig hole and I've been monitoring all activity through in and out of that hole, so. Kinda dangerous, but not too dangerous.
There you have it, one core garrison with its drifter, all said and done in 46 minutes. Now if you didn't notice, earlier on I forgot to bookmark my MTU, being the drifter warped off and kind of confused me for a second there, and I just forgot to bookmark it, so I had to combat scan my own MTU and go back to get it. And we'll see here that I am finishing off at 553 million -esque not a bad run.